Next, we have running for Board of Education. Am I right? Yes, I am. And two, in District 2, one of our favorite candidates, actually, somebody I think you're going to be really excited to because our future depends on education. Um, little personal shout out, our future does not uh, depend on teachers armed. That's for my opinion. So I think we have better things to do with our resources than education than armed teachers. With that said, it is my pleasure to introduce Matt Wynn. Bethany, I want to thank you so much for the just the opportunity to be here today, all of your support over the last several months. This entire community is one of my favorite. The reason why that is, is because for so long, Democrats, progressives, forward-thinking individuals haven't really had a great space in our community to speak about issues, to fight about issues, and to support local candidates who are going to have our backs. I want to be that candidate for each and every one of you. And I want to emphasize to you that I think this election, this June 5th election, is the most important election. It's a watershed moment for all of us. And for my election in particular, it is critical. The reason why this is, is because all the other races you see in the room, they will have a June primary and a November runoff. The Orange County Board of Education is a one-off election. Please remember this. Please share this with your friends. Whichever candidate receives the plurality vote this June will be elected by the end of June. And so my name is Matt Nguyen. I'm very grateful to be here today. I'm running for Orange County Board of Education Area 2. And I hope to explain to you over the next few minutes why I think my background, my professional experiences, and my policies best align me to support our community, empower our students, support our teachers, and keep our public schools safe for everyone. Now, I came uh, here. I was born in this community. I was born and raised here. And my parents came to the United States as Vietnamese refugees. Uh, my parents came to the United States at the height of the Vietnam War. They came to the United States with nothing. They didn't know a word of English. They didn't have a dollar to their name. Uh, my mother relied on public assistance. My father worked on the docks to afford his own education. But it was through the power of a great public education system that they were able to build a middle class life for themselves and their families. I'm seeing that drift away. When I was young, my parents uh, struggled financially. They had a divorce. Um, my mother actually dedicated her entire life savings, cast it aside, so that she could buy uh, rent a very small apartment in um, the Huntington Beach community, because she knew that it was only through public schools that I was going to be able to get a great education. But what is so unfortunate, I, you know, I was fortunate in that regard, but what is so unfortunate to me is that I do not believe that your zip code, the area that you were born, your area code, should in any way be determinative of the educational opportunities that you have now or in the future. And I also happen to be the only candidate with experience as an educator myself, working in education policy up in Sacramento as an aide to Governor Jerry Brown, working to improve K through 12 public education funding for each and every student, and especially for low income, English language learner and foster youth. We brought hundreds of millions of extra dollars during my time up in Sacramento to our most disadvantaged public schools, and that's something I'm incredibly proud of and hope to continue fighting for. <laughs> Furthermore, I also am the only candidate with experience working in education law. Now, you all know this because you've seen some of the crazy stuff that's been going on with our OC Board of Supervisors and our city councils. They are wading into very precarious legal territory right now. They are going to be spending millions of taxpayer dollars wasting our community's money that could be used on social services, could be used on education, could be used on any number of other reasons to fight extraneous lawsuits. And that happens as well for our OC Board of Education. I want to make sure that we're supporting each and every student so that we aren't exposed to potential litigation or other problems. Um, the last thing I want to emphasize is that our community is rapidly changing. I am the only candidate in this race that is under the age of 60. The only candidate who attended Orange County Public Schools, the only 
candidate who has an ear out for the needs of diverse communities all around our district, including 35% of our district is Vietnamese American, and yet we have very little attention to things like bilingual education, civics education, STEM education. These are things I want to support and empower. And the one thing that I want to stop tomorrow is one of my opponents, one of my opponents supports arming public school teachers. I think it's a disastrous idea. I will fight tooth and nail to prevent that from happening. I have talked to hundreds and hundreds of school teachers all across our county over the last several months. I have not met one yet. If you can find that one public school teacher, I'd love to chat with them because there is zero in our community that um, are people who want to be armed. And so I am going to fight each and every day on behalf of our communities. I have the background, the experience, and the policies. I will be over at my table a little bit later if you'd like to chat one on one. Um, remember, this is the one and only election for OC Board of Education. Thank you so very much for your support. I'm so happy to be here.